Hey guys and welcome back to Walking Dead Not Included! Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire! Last time we spent a lot of time working on our hot water tank. Now this is not a tank for hot water, it's a tank to make hot water. Why would I want to do that? To kill germs! Why would you not want to do that? This of course will leave us with a lot of hot water that we've then got to try and deal with. If we pump it into the base it's going to make all sorts of troubles. But that's okay because right next to my hot water tank is a cold biome. So we'll put a cold water tank into there and make the water more chill to pump it back into my base and have beautiful clean cold cool water you can see it right now my duplicates are going around and putting in a little bit of insulation all against protecting myself from the hot biome that the hot water tank does a living but that is not what we're going to do today no today our goal is to extend the algae economy as i call it for a little while now my duplicates have been running out of algae inside the biome that we spawned in now this is not the biggest problem in the world because as you can see there are many many swamp biomes we'll call them to uh, to go around and get more algae but that's not all that we find in swamp biomes we also find slime and, and actually we also find slime slime is the problem that we want to deal with here thankfully the game helps us out and we get to put down a machine that will change that slime into algae at a cost of some power and having to deal with a few um waste products that's the word that i'm looking for right now i am checking my duplicate skills to see what it is we want from our last remaining duplicate at least of this quick build that we put here and i would like a rancher i would like a rancher indeed and maybe someone to take over farming cave uh, farming commitments from everybody else another thing that we're in the middle of doing is trying to get the wheeze warts from the cold biome into my base to try and well keep that whole right hand side of my base nice and cool there i've started off by putting one plant pot in the kitchen and two in the farms it's going to end up not actually needing that and we're going to move one of the wheeze warts out of the farm into the airlock to make sure that we keep my airlock nice and cool because it is the one place where every time the outside door opens a whole blast of heat gets left in and we need to deal with that else my base is just gonna overheat again night times rolled around and the duplicates have settled down and man their snoring is particularly noticeable in this sped up rate another thing you'll notice that one of them dropped a bit of food in my great hall over there this is something that happens quite often i'm wondering whether i need to move my schedule around there's a uh, time in the morning and time in the evening for them to take care of things and i'm wondering whether i just want to look double the time in the evening so they can get the stuff done that they need to maybe we'll uh, try that at some point i'm not going to do it today but it's definitely something that i want to bear in mind for the future because you never know Okay, the next thing I'm doing here is trying to make my water tank safe. Uh, what, the way that I like to classify water tanks as safe is if they have a little bit of a lip next to them. So that if some sort of polluted water incident happens next to them, there is edging to stop it just flowing inwards. I also like to make sure there's a roof going on over the top and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's time to start thinking about the, uh, the algae distillery. Yes, indeed. We're going to start digging our way into this dark, uh, this dank biome underneath. But I've noticed a little bit of a problem here. I was supposed to set up this door as a lock but no they've decided that in fact they want to come through and put down uh, a whole bunch of insulation i'm great with that but now because that tank's gonna get really hot we should uh, definitely uh definitely lock it and never let any duplicates back into there ever again because it's just gonna be too much for them and i don't want a dead body in my hot water tank that would be ridiculous noticing that i got a, a little bit off with the uh, the leveling there i it looked like that we were going to have to put a floor one block higher up than I actually wanted it to be uh, going by where the floor needs to be over there. So I kind of rearranged the whole room here. And I think six is probably going to be uh, a good number to go with. I did originally be like, mm, maybe I could take it up to nine. But then I thought about power situations. And given the fact that I've only got low tech uh, power wires yes power wires that's that's the word I'm looking for uh, I decided to go adjust for the six because six times 120 is like 600 740 something like that seven, seven, maybe maybe 720 somewhere along the line my map my math is breaking uh, you can see there's a whole a bunch of polluted water in there now I kind of want to just like pump that out somewhere um, but I, I was hesitant to crack open into any of the cave systems, if you will, because they're all full with like 500 grams per t 500 kilograms, sorry, per tile of uh, polluted oxygen, and that that's gonna end up flooding my base a little bit. But I was also like, hang about right down the bottom here is actually where i've put a whole bunch of uh deodorizers the cleaning things you can see there by the by the stairway the ladders you've got two of them uh 
watching the area. Watching the area? Yeah, cleaning the area, making sure. It was for when uh, this storage compactor that they're currently de decontaminating was actually our only storage for slime. And I knew slime would outgas polluted oxygen. I was like, okay, well, we'll make sure that can go there. So, yeah, that was a long way, <laughs> long way around of telling you I was fine digging into that little cave system down the bottom there and letting all the water pour out down that way. You can also see I've got a pipe now running up towards the uh, water sieve that then turns this polluted oxygen, uh, polluted water into clean water so that we can uh, warm it up and de-germ it. Technically this stuff doesn't need de-germing, it's not full of germs, but you know, slime lung has been known to travel through these pipes before, so we're going to make a double sure. Uh, you may have noticed that a little while ago I also uh, cancelled all the builds and put them back up. That's because I was like, hey, let's use my local materials, put a little bit of gold in there. Uh, not really thinking that actually my dudes had already tidied all the gold away, so there was no point doing that because they still had to go the same distance life hey uh, i then i'm um, starting to realize that people are dragging slime lung back and forth yeah i should have realized this much earlier and put down a sink much much earlier but this is one of these situations where one of these low tech sinks comes in very very handy because i don't want that there forever eventually this place might get a little bit cleaned up or i will end up replacing it with a proper sink um and so i'm just putting that down there for, for to feel out the system to find out where exactly i need a sink i then realized that Hmm, I'm not going to be able to run this system off of any of the systems around and I also know if I dig like that I'm going to end up with the sand falling down and flooding my actual water everywhere Not what I want not what I want at all So I put up the priority of the the tanks around if you will the tiles and lower the priority of the dig um, we were just watching Mad Frank because he was the last person to actually travel through the slime biome and pick up actual slime lung. Though, if you look, I've got slime lung on my food. Not great, but they're going to eat it. It's going to disappear. Slime lung doesn't really like to live on, on food and stuff like that. It's not like food poisoning. Slime lung only really likes to exist on slime, funnily enough. And carbon dioxide for some reason. I, I never figured that one out. Carbon dioxide and polluted oxygen. So here we go. We are sealing up the bottom. Uh, and I think that's working out really well. Up until ZTech's like, no, I like to dig. I'm like, oh, yeah, he likes to dig and dig only, right? Thankfully, things got uh, taken care of pretty quickly and the uh, the builders came in to help us out there so i was like well we've lost a lot of water let's compact the tank down to try and push it in thankfully i've already got the backup tank being sorted out uh, and now zed can come along and let that water free now obviously i kind of want it to flow down towards the algae terraria because that would be a uh, much better way uh, to, to deal with water rather than just like dumping it in a hole and have to deal with it later So we set up the priority to dig down this corner first I thought that was going to work out well But of course I didn't I didn't really pay attention to how water flows And of course we got a little leak sprung in the side of the box there and stuff like that So uh, things didn't go exactly to plan But it went enough to plan that we can uh, can live with it there So other than wasting my primary water source It's now time to put in some power Of course as I say I'm only on tier 1 wires So I can't can't actually run too much through at any one time and this should work out and thankfully um well actually it's going to be a little bit of a problem when i think about it because there's only 8800 watts being output there and that's eating like 740 as i said uh, also mad frank managed to get himself stuck up there but that's all right he just needs to uh, have the ladder dug out for him and then he can escape pretty easily but thankfully so far every time one of my duplicates have got stuck uh behind a build or whatever uh it's been relatively easy to save them so that's good that's that's normally the number one killer of my duplicates is the fact that people get like stranded on a rock somewhere like four four blocks higher than the floor or something like that and they just stood there going like i can't do anything and because they're not marked as idle because they're still like trying to go around and build stuff or something there'll be something making them not marked as idle um uh, and then and then they, they start peeing everywhere and that's normally the first thing I know about it and when that's at that point It's too late. Anyway, welcome shadow to the group my last and most loved patron I mean, I love them all very very much um, He uh, has come along to be our farmer slash a rancher Which is gonna be a uh, very nice there should be able to uh, lighten the load on another three And I think it's Shroudicus who is also carrying around a farm 
farm equipment for most people, which means he can move out and do other things. Shrapticus in particular is our number one mover because he moves something on order of four times as much equipment as everyone else. He, he's got like an insane strength. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Okay, so for some reason, focusing on the secondary waterline, I can live with that. That's cool. That means that we get uh, the, the water being sorted out. Uh, I then also think that maybe we should put a switch on, on that little water pump there. Uh, so I'll deal with that at some point. But also, so much polluted oxygen uh, that I put down another two deodorizers around the actual algae distillers because they just seem to be the ones that really need it, you know? They'll just really be able to, uh, to turn... Uh, turn the polluted oxygen into clean oxygen because again slime lung it, it's got to be dealt with it has got to be dealt with so we're going to follow Shadow around for a little bit here just to make sure they're settling in well into the colony. We need to make sure that all our duplicates are loved. But it also shows me a few of the inefficiencies in the farming system, if you will. If I'm watching what Shadow's doing, I can see why they're not just doing the job. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was that they need to come all the way down uh, to that middle uh, storage area for dirt. And that's... That's not great. So I set a storage compactor to be built up there, but obviously there's lots of other build jobs that need to come before that, but that that's all right. All right, there goes the switch being put in on the pump. The main reason that I want that switch on there and turning off is I want to use the water in the primary tank up there first and then eventually turn that into uh, an oxygen room uh, that that that's just going to end up being a little bit of dead space for me because obviously the water tank is going to end up being uh, down the bottom it's a much larger structure than what we've got there underneath the airlock so uh, eventually when that does empty out I'm going to use that space to put uh, an electrolyzer in split oxygen and hydrogen have a little hydrogen generator and have nice fresh fresh oxygen for the base which I might or might not pump through the coal biome first to uh, to really get some nice air conditioning on the go. It'd be nice to actually have a couple of valves. Yeah, yeah, two valves. One going to a hot biome, one going to a cold biome. Uh, all with a bunch of temperature sensors all over the base. All over the base. Uh, and then... And then when the temperature either spikes high or low, it shuts off the valve one way or the other. Hmm, yeah, I'd not never never thought about that before. Now, gonna do that. So you remember that I said this one needs locking? Yeah, it needs locking. What I've actually done is set, change the priorities as well. I, I don't know if you call it priorities or what. Uh, if you click on a door, you get to say which way everybody gets to walk through. Um, so if you just change that, again, it doesn't need a duplicate. It's much like the valve system where you can uh, pull the valve number up and down and you don't need a duplicate to do it it's the same with the door uh in and out priorities but for some reason locking it needs a duplicate i don't understand why okay so i've decided that uh, really we need to get this distillery area underway pretty well so i've put it all up to priority seven uh this was supposed to just be the builds and at some point i will go around and turn down all the priorities that aren't the builds um so in particular like that one uh distiller that they're working on there and the oxygen uh the odorizer i was going to call it the oxygenizer i don't know where that came from uh but yeah they all need to be turned back down to number five i'm trying to keep all my priorities on the level at the moment there's a i think there's like one or two things that are seven that i like to have as seven uh things like the compost heap i don't like the compost heap backing up at any point because that then means you've got polluted polluted dirt all around your base starting to build up uh, and I think that's uh, a thing that we don't really want to have so looking to the future I feel we need to have two farms I'm going to talk about like the next couple of episodes for a little bit I think we need two farms uh, to be set up in the two biomes that we have access to the uh, cold and the swamp biome because the swamp biome is really good uh, for doing the I forgot the name of the fiber plant the thimble reed we're going to do the thimble reed in the swamp biome of course the balm lily could go into the hot one as well as the pinch of pepper and and sleep wheat needs to go into our cold biome. Thankfully, we have a triple point on the map where those three biomes meet up. So at some point, we're going to have to put that in place so that we can get it so uh, Shadow isn't having to run around so much. Because where the millwood is right now, nowhere near where those other farms are going to be. So either we need to get some sort of expedited travel system set up, whether it be like those pneumatic tubes or I, I don't even know if there is anything else. Uh, or we need to put them all closer together. So I'm starting to uh, lay down the groundwork for expanding the water tank here. You can see that we've got a lot of water uh, up to the top left there. And I think we're just going to let gravity help out here. We need to uh, get our duplicates in and digging down. You can see we've got a bit of a polluted oxygen 
oxygen problem down by the uh, algae terrariums. This is actually by design. Brofka released a video to, uh, like yesterday, day before, something like that, being like, oh my god, I can't believe you can double your oxygen output by letting the polluted water sit on there and outgas as polluted oxygen and then change that to normal oxygen with the algae deodorizer. And I'm like, is that not just the plan anyway? But anyway, so that, that's why it looks like that there's a, a bit of a polluted oxygen problem down there. It's just, it's catching up quicker than the deodorizer is. But that's all part of the part of the process to get more oxygen for my dupes. Which I honestly thought was really obvious. <laughs> anyway, enough sounding like a jerk. You can see that we've got a bit of a problem with the water pipe, the, the polluted water pipe going upwards. Uh, it, they're, not, they're not building it because they can't get up there. And it's actually the, the case that they can't transfer from one ladder to the other. Turns out one by one, uh, one by two, not enough room. They need to have a little two by two section to be able to transfer from one to the other. And the moment that one is dug out, bam, in they go. All the the, uh, the highly trained team of <laughs> ZTech, Captain Subs and Shrouticus really really going to work on that build project there. When the three of them come together to work, it is just a thing of beauty to behold with ZTEC digging, uh, Shrouticus delivering, and Captain Subs doing the build. It just, it gets done so quick. And uh, there we go. Our distillery is uh, finished and producing. I say finished and producing. There is a little bit of a problem here. You can see that the two, the three on the left are keeping their door closed, but the three on the right keep opening and closing. This is problems of water, drainage, and of... Uh, not water sorry power drainage and slime uh, the, these are the three things that I'm actually short of to run all six so at some point I tell those three on the right to shut down because it, it's a little bit of a waste of time having a look at my temperature gauge here I can see that the wheeze water is totally doing its job and we're containing the heat in the hot biome and keeping our uh, nice little living area here nice and cool and I'm like right well I suppose that's all that done we should uh, start digging through this hole so that we can get the entire of that water uh, dropping down oh i want to see all that water flood down and i'm fairly sure you guys want to see it as well but no alas we have got all these build uh build jobs that need to be done first that that's fine that's fine it's gonna it's gonna help uh in the long run i'm always in two minds about that bottom level that you can see is putting down there whether to make it a mesh a mesh tile or an ordinary tile i like having mesh tiles because it allows things to flow around and uh not not get stagnant if you will uh but at the same time it does mean that things will just carry on falling down and you can't really deal with stuff if it's behind a mesh tile. That's just my own little little input on that. You may have seen that ZTech is indeed already starting to dig over there. That's because ZTech like, likes to dig. And if there's a dig job, he will go and do that rather than building. This is obviously a by design. Uh, I went through and changed everyone's priorities uh, so that they see their own jobs as far, far more important than anything else. Uh, I, I find it just helps move things around. So right now I'm like, mm, do I want to put an extra extra charger in? I kind of do, I kind of don't. I on and are about it a couple of times, uh, put stuff down and take, pick it back up. Um, and, and generally just I'm like, oh, I need this, I don't need this. It's probably going to actually end up being the first place I put down a coal power plant. Though I am desperately desperately searching around for a natural gas geyser because that is just so much better yeah you know, with the with the coal power plant your duplicates need to back and forth quite a lot moving coal into it who'd have thought you need someone to uh, to shovel coal back and forth for coal power but the natural gas geyser you can just set up an entire automated system and then you don't ever have to worry about power ever again or at least don't have to worry about your duplicates being taken up for power End of another cycle, and once again, we just got to sit around and watch these guys eat. I mean, it is very entertaining to watch these guys eat, but I, I would very much prefer it if they could get on with the digging. You can see on the side there, or you could see on the side there, that I've started putting ladders in for people to get access up and down. I'm also wondering whether the ladders will help funnel the water down, because as we all know, water in this game is a little bit extra goopy, if you will. The surface tension is super, super strong. Uh, I've seen a lot of people suggest that this is because duplicates are actually super super tiny uh, and I like this idea I, I like the fact that these guys are maybe like floating around on a rock that's maybe the size of a baseball or something like that and this water that like this drop of water that we see here is like less than less than a couple of mil milliliter or something like that I yeah I, I really like that uh, putting down some ladders so that people can access the uh, the, the full dig orders here and moving out all, all the plants that were in my way leaving the oxalite in place because 
Lakers that ends up uh, outgassing to fill in the voids that we are opening up. And one of the, the big things to worry about in this game is as you're digging out area, you're actually just increasing the, 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 the volume, if you will, that you need to fill with gases for your duplicates to be happy. Or if you completely seal it off, uh, you can actually create a small vacuum inside like that. And you know, no, nobody likes living in a vacuum, uh, least of all your duplicates. Right now, I'm putting up the job of all, uh, putting up the priority of all the jobs that actually need uh, specialist Z to go through and dig it. Things like granite and stuff like that, granite, obsidian, etc. So that Z, who likes to dig, <laughs> will go ahead and dig those things immediately. And anyone else who has any digging uh, inclinations can come along and do them afterwards uh, but there we go they're all cleaned out we've just got to get this uh, floor in place and then I'm like hmm we really need to clean this place up right that that's one of the things that I uh, really do like to do is get my water tanks being actual clean uh, get all the the dropped stuff out from inside uh, because who knows who knows what filth what dirt is on on the dirt because you know that's that's where germs live right uh, well actually in this game it's not but you know, for feeling good about your water tank i like to clean it all up and i'm going to start by uh, high prioritizing all the cleaning jobs at the bottom but of course along comes the end of another cycle to do that wow the, the cycles really do feel quite short when you're taking on not even a massive project i mean let's be honest i'm just trying to dig out some rock and then like move it into some boxes and i'm going to move those boxes much closer as you can see or build new boxes uh so that the guys haven't got quite so far to run unfortunately uh, like priorities are getting away from me here so i've got a whole bunch of like priority nine stuff uh things like mopping the water digging the hole uh stuff like that so that the uh, the boxes actually get forgot about for a little bit but just enough well, not too long but enough time for me to go oh i really i really wish they were doing this uh okay so now we're just going to start sweeping the floor and man this actually took a lot longer than i thought it would even with everybody uh chipping in and this is the place where i noticed uh, how a good a shroudicus is compared to everyone else uh if you watch the numbers everybody's picking up like 200 kilograms tops but there comes shroudicus with his like 840 pickup something like that it is uh, just unbelievable how much he can move unfortunately every now and then he gets gets called away for a different supply job and then you just get left with these three carrying 600 amongst them which just doesn't even begin to get close well i mean i suppose it is like three quarters of what shroudicus can carry but still you know without shroudicus this would take much 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 longer i'm now like okay so now that we're clearing up this bottom bit maybe i want to uh to dig through uh start by putting a ladder in for some reason yeah very important but the, the bottom floor is now clear so i think i'm about to start going and digging through or not maybe i'm just gonna carry on clearing the floor and i suppose this is a great time to bring up the disconnect between how i like to play oxygen not included and how i like to watch oxygen not included while i'm playing i'm quite happy to just sit here and watch these guys move a uh, little bits of material from a couple of blocks down below to a couple of blocks up above and I'm, I'm quite content with that I'm like yeah I'm watching my guys do some stuff but then when it comes to a video I'm like oh can't you just move it all in one go and then like we can get on with some other stuff having a quick look at the duplicates here because as I say um, if we can find a replacement for another three now obviously it'll be like another three the second or another four I don't know whether you'd agree with that or not uh, but uh, and there yeah we want to replace him with someone with uh, a few more skill sets and stuff like that but yeah when when i'm playing i'm quite happy just to for instance watch brum move around and see what he's up to turns out he's going to put a ladder inside the cold biome so that we can start exploring the upper reaches of that and of course we've got the farmers going around doing their wonderful thing and just the two guys moving the materials back and forth so at this point i'm like you know what zed tech you like to dig Go and dig, please. I, I, want, I really want you to dig up that little hole uh, there. Uh, that works out pretty well. And I, I start telling people to sweep up the higher areas. And I'm like, no, that, that's a bad idea. Let's just uh, keep going from the bottom up. And then a, a small unexpected side effect of digging out those lower areas there. Captain Subs decides that he needs to go and uh, fill in the bottom tiles of the tank. Now, I'm, I'm kind of good with this because it means that if we ever get to the point where we're digging underneath, we don't really have to worry about it. Maybe throw an extra layer of tiles on as we're over opening the area up especially if the water pressure gets quite high uh, but we start building up with some ladders and I immediately forget that some of the materials up there are porous you can see that the fertilizer or whatever it is up there is a leaking water into the, the the tank and I don't want that yet so I decide just to go with it Zed Tech comes along 
pulls it all out and all the water starts pouring down. You can see we've got a little spillage on the right there. I was kind of not expecting that at first, to be honest. I was expecting it all to go straight down. But we can see the reason for it there. That little bit of wall is stopping the water flowing quite as well as I would have liked. I'm fairly sure if we had left it for as long as we possibly could, uh, it all would have equalized because obviously the pressure, is, they're not separated from each other. That corridor at the top uh, connects the two sides of the water, so they should be able to equalize out after, over time. But we removed the wall anyway, so it is not uh, big a problem. With people going around and tidying up, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this algae extending water pouring adventure. I will see you guys next time where we're going to do a little bit more exploring, try and find some sort of sustainable power system. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!